because complexity are already and raring to go on this CT side. Yeah, I mean, I could talk about this all day long, but why bother when we can actually watch the action unfold in front of us? Simple first blood, Config from the pit will fire right back. Flamey's gotten out behind the bins, but Config does see the feet and keeps him tucked in. Poison's got to deal with his cat take. All oh, the jump, it gives it away. He didn't realize how deep they got in, and now he knows the hard way around. Config is gone from the pit, meanwhile, and it's down to a two on four retake. Yeah, it's Russian blame F left in it. And they're going to wrap all the way around over here towards Long. Now, Flamey is holding this down from this little goblin position. But as he decides to hop on down, they peek him. If that there isn't the timing I find myself with in every MM game I ever play, I don't Ooh. know what is. And now we're into a two-on-two. -two. Rush doubling up. This should have been impossible. This was a two-on-four. There should have been no way back into this for Cole. But now it's all on to Perfecto as Blame's taken down another. And there's the follow-up. A kit on Rush. They grab the defuse and they've got this one complexity 2v4 and they survive with both of those two players at the end of the round. Navi very keen to fight there, right? Perfecto's obviously stuck in a position where he has to fight, but like Flamey moving out along, I wonder what the call was there. Maybe Navi already thought that Cole would be you know, coming from a different position, but they hadn't seen a single player. And so Flamey had a great spot to like hide, hide behind that corner, not peek out aggressively. His teammates could have baited for him on long. There were so many other ways Navi could have played that, but they really go in for the fight. And while maybe that's uh, historically good for them, it doesn't work out here. Especially with the kit dropped in CT, Rush had to go and grab that. So that could have been Na'Vi's round through and through. But Cole, a well-earned 2v4. And now they've got the money behind them. Na'Vi not wanting to throw everything into this. Just Eagles, as you would expect. Electronic with a bit of Kev behind it as well. Simple's going to get tagged very early towards B. That's Oboe putting on the pressure. Oh dear, these Deagles on Na'Vi can be scary at the best of times. And so Complexity need to have their wits about them. Keep those heads hidden. Because Na'Vi, they're not rushing anywhere. They are simply just looking for these kills, fighting every side of the map. Three smoke on long. Effecto looking for a B pick. Might be able to catch Obo with his nade in hand, but he's playing a timing to drop that smoke. Config is going to find one in middle. And Na'Vi losing their bomb. They've got to pick that one back up for now. It's so frustrating because there's so much to say about both of these teams. And I feel like yeah. even with a three-hour series, we're not going to have enough time to say it all. Uh, here's a cat play because also we have to talk about what's going on in the game. Even though you all have eyes, sometimes we say words that you see. Blame here in the sight. And he only gets one. The D going to find him. Poison. Ooh, almost a collateral. Instead, Ooh. it's a bit of a shooting gallery for Poison. They try and duck beneath. Electronic naded down. And this should be his death sentence sealed. It's complexity. Getting that anti-eco. And now rifles ready to come through for Na'Vi. One of the things that I also think was really cool is that Blame F, you know, big fan of the ESCA refrag tools that are now available for insiders and above over on the platform. He used that. He used the restrat game mode to come up with solutions to the nuke outside problems that were being thrown his way, which I thought was sick. Yeah, and we talk about ECA. Well, that is actually free to play during Pro League, which will be right after Cologne as well. So definitely keep your eyes open for that in the future. Talking of the outside control on Nuke, I know we can get to this later, but uh, we've talked about Mahone before. He's, he's made a video on that recently about Cole's outside control. Really interesting one. Do recommend you watch that. But yeah, that will all be later. We'll get we'll get into it on Nuke. Right now it's Dust 2 and it's Na'Vi taking long. Perfecto setting up flashes. Rush is so blind. He falls into the pit, but he has been spotted and he's getting hung out to dry. He's going to need a teammate to flash him out. That happens, but no fights. Flamey boosted up. Rush, he doesn't really have like a molly to, to push anyone out. So continue to try and hit these flash timings. But Na'Vi aren't giving him the kill. They're not rushing this one. They're bleeding out Cole's utility. This is really nice. Obo coming in aggressive to try and force these kills. It's exactly what Na'Vi were waiting for. I love that patience. They don't try and rush long and, and overwhelm that pit player. They simply know that Complexity are going to be feeling pressured to make a move. And make a move they do. Na'Vi with two. Upper, control, uh, upper tunnel's control taken by Cole, but it's not really going to matter when Na'Vi have so many players ready to hit this A site. Yeah, Poison has to really, like, really do his best to stay alive for this flank to find anything. 
Oh, oh. He's done damage, but no kills presenting themselves yet. Config and Blame F 2v5. And while they're able to get that 2v4 by the wayside in the pistol, this one is asking a hell of a lot here from these two remaining players on the complexity side. The bomb planted inside of the A site. Short has been cleared by Perfecto, and now Simple feels safe to get that bomb down. This is surely just going to be a save here for complexity. Yeah, it's one of those positions where you're like, oh, if only they knew the damage, right? It's not like uh, this is this is going to be an easy win by any means, but uh, yeah, three players on 30 health. That scout does a lot of damage, but no kills to be found. Na'Vi taking their first. We know what their long control is like. We saw them back at Caddo. They've been an excellent Dust 2 team this year, despite all of their ups and downs. And, uh, you know, not that I'm ever really worried about Na'Vi. We know they're slow starters into tournaments. We know they struggle online. Um, but when they only just beat Mouse Sports, I say only just, they kind of wrecked them on Dust 2, but they, they took a 2-1 win against Mouse Sports. A Mouse Sports that got shredded in their follow-up game. That did somewhat worry me coming up into this matchup. Of course, again, yeah, Na'Vi, you know, they're getting better every game. That's what we expect from them. Obviously, the other three that we have cast in these games sometimes, they have Sponge as the analytical mind, right? Chad Sponge, Virgil, guy that we all know and love. Hugo, we don't have that third analytical mind. We barely even have one between the two of us. <laughs> but uh, we have got Dupree, who just tweeted his opinion out about the pistol round. So I'm going to use him like our analyst. Thank you, Dupree. He said, and he kind of leans in your favor here, he said that if Na'Vi had just kind of decided to take those fights or fall them back sooner on in that pistol round, and uh, he thinks they would have picked it up. So that one there slipping by the wayside, solidified by our man Dupree. Kind of blame Felt like a got. bit of an error from the Na'Vi side. Complexity though, they lose that one round and now they come in with this kind of mismatch buy. I'd love to get Dupree on for a desk, man. I bet he would nail it. Yeah, he's not at the point where, you know, he needs to start thinking no, about career changes. No, I don't think he needs changes. to consider, <laughs> consider any other options. He's all right. Astralis, they're doing okay, I reckon. Yeah, Config I holding on to B, and he's getting pressured here by the utility, but boy, has he risen to the occasion. He's still fighting. And he's put this one into a five on four right out of the gate. Now, it looked like Na'Vi wanted to try and split this B site early on. They do get players out through middle, but Flamey is still holding on to long. And there's a bit of a fight that might go down here. He wins out his engagement over Rush, hoping that that was going to shift complexity round a bit. And now that they've dealt with Oboe down here in middle with Flamey splitting long, they, they teetered over towards B early in the round. But now it looks like this A split from Cat and the long area. Simple tried to walk out mid and he hit the smoke, the, the jut out, and it fully uh, lost his vision. Oh, almost two poison. Traded by Perfecto, that's opened up a world here for Na'Vi where that bomb can cross, but actually it's taking some time and it's allowing Cole to come in on the back line. Perfecto, oh dear, he could have already been planting. Now he's got to drop spawn side. He will escape for the time being. That Molly landing on the site and stopping for, uh, Filemi from taking position. Boy, oh boy, Perfecto just sped up there. This would already be a post plant, but now they're really taking their time, dropping the bomb, getting it down with a few seconds remaining. But Cole have completely switched it up. They've gone lower to CT. Na'Vi might not expect both players here so quickly. Moving up towards the ramp. Perfecto, low HP, should be checked here. And that's exactly what happens. Config does not miss those. Flamey in a clutch. He's only seen one man. The boost up behind the boxes, he doesn't know. He does flick back, and that's the info he needs to win this clutch. Missed shot on the jump. Flamey low HP, but it doesn't matter. And he'll take their head right off of Blame F. I love that idea for complexity. I think they played that well with the boost uh, also, but Flamey hits two banging shots, and that's going to be the round for Na'Vi. This was very awkward. I think Na'Vi just expected more resistance in that A site as well. They, they didn't know the Cole were running these double Bs and almost gets a little hairy there. If that bomb got lost on Cat with 10 seconds remaining, that would have been Cole's through and through. But for now, it's uh, pistols. They're broke once again. Obo has a Zeus. He's going to get tagged on the cross. Eagles and P250s. Slow and steady are how Na'Vi are hoping to win this race. Simple. Ooh, config. Oh, he got tagged through the wall. You don't mess with simple, man. Not when you're in the arm with this D, especially not then. Jumping around at the mid doors, config's going to come to pay the price. And now Rush 
This is a nice little bait and switch setup. I'm always a fan of it, right? Rush going to try and draw the attention in, and then you hope that allows Flame F to get away with something. But Boomage, a little too fast on the trigger. Three in the round, and this A site now secured for Na'Vi. I love how patient they always are, man. It might like I would hate to play against Na'Vi ever. I think most teams would on a map like Dust 2. Because they really do just make you work for anything. Like even now in this two on five, they take, look at all this time, right? They're so methodical and clear it out long. They really uh, kind of solidify themselves inside of the bomb site. And now, you know, if your complexity, your obo, your config, you've already been waiting around for 40 seconds, knowing damn well that you're not going to have a chance to play into this round, where now you've got to wait even longer. And they're just going to sit back here in CT spawn, try and hold on to this D gonna taser, so it's not exactly, you know, the best save we've ever seen. Cole are on a 10 win streak on this map, it's worth noting. Their last loss was against Big in DreamHack Masters, so in some time. One of those wins even being against Na'Vi as well. I mentioned this earlier, we often see these games be fairly one-sided. That was a 16-8 to Cole. A couple of months ago, albeit, so keep that in mind. Times have changed, although not rosters. Both of these teams uh, staying as these same fives for quite some time, and the results are beginning to show through with them at the top of those ESL World Rankings. We had number two yesterday, Vitality falling to Astralis. Somewhat to be expected. Uh, definitely a team that we want to keep our eyes on. That being as well as continuing into this tournament. And right now, this is for the playoffs as well. Flamey dropping the smoke on the long corner. He's going to get boosted up and try and hold on to the doors. Bomb already leaving. Rush trying to play for that audio. He will hear footsteps from this position. Now he's throwing out their mid to Bs. Electronic peering through. Oboe's looking to get aggressive. Oh, Electronic spots him leaving the smoke there, and he will corner him. If Rush gets aggressive, he, if not if dead to Simple, will be dead to Flamey up on the boxes. So he'll hold off for the time being. Painfully slow for Na'Vi, making everyone work for these kills. Blame's dead. Surely. No, he checks it. Electronic doesn't really react. It looked like he was just walking towards the doors, but Electronic, despite that aggressive position, is going to go down and mid is immediately smoked and blame gets the hell out of there so not falling to the trade of navi keeping things in a four on four so where do they go from here they're gonna re-smoke middle and blame actually begins like a bit of a retreat in towards this a site and with how this setup for navi is looking right now this might be the perfect call at the perfect timing for Blame. Now, we saw this fight between Flamey and Rush go down earlier on at long, and Rush didn't win it. But this time he does. He removes Flamey, and that there is the second hand uh -oh. from this push taken out of the equation in through CT. Boomich gets info, but the problem for Na'Vi here is they've got no choice but to commit into A. Even though they realize that there's a lot of bodies here with only 10 seconds left, there's no change in, there's no change in your mind now. And so this is just going to have to be a save for Simple and Perfect, though. This slow pace there, this is, this is the downside of it. You know, it gives with one hand, it takes with the other. And while it's great at making your opponent feel uncomfortable, sometimes you do end up in these situations where you realize that the bomb site you were going towards is stacked or has a very heavy presence there. And, and there's just nothing you can do. You know, you either walk into the slaughter and you try and fight that one out, or you just have to back away and save. And that's exactly what happens to Na'Vi in that round. Na'Vi were hoping to get a kill there to, to commit towards A. Boomich comes in through CT, but he gets fully flashed by his teammate dropping a flashbang in CT spawn. At that point, he has no position. He's blind for another five, and he has to wait it out, meaning Na'Vi have to force the save. If that flash doesn't come through, maybe Boomich can gain position, get a long pick, and that can, you know, egg Na'Vi on into pushing into the site it's a team flash that completely uproots everything there in that three on four obviously blame it actually rotated to a so there was a heavy setup it was pretty difficult to get through regardless but you know once the flash hits there's just zero chance navi are going for that round so that's really unfortunate that's a communication issue because they should know where boomich is right there it's going to cost them a third equal now on either side 
Oh dear, Boomish is blind again. It's not a team flash this time, but it is a Molly that pushes him out. Good grenade does some damage. He's up on the site. Config quick though, and already low was Boomage. Flamey, he has to get this kill out long. He gets double peaked. Oh, through the oh, pole. Oh. Finding Rush, fully blind. It's down to poison on the corner, swinging on that Molotov. This guy is keen, and that is a dangerous move. He gets punished for it as he tries to fall back. Flamey peeking in front of the Molotov. And despite Cole pushing all the way through B and having this flank, they've completely lost the A site. And Obo is already doubling back. They might be calling for the save. Think about the amount of times we've seen these flanks from Complexity where they've had players coming in through T-Spawn and yet it, it never even has the chance to play into the round. You know, like this must feel kind of horrible because every single time you think you know what's going on and you think you're in the right position. Well, a lot of the time you are, but it's just, you know, Na'Vi, they have this kind of tendency of holding, making you get real uncomfortable, making you consider your options, and then they just explode into a bomb site. It's, it's, it must feel so weird, like so jarring to play against. And I kind of want to see Complexity go for one of these B pushes a little bit earlier in the round. Obviously, it's risky. You know that Na'Vi are holding this map control in the beginning. Uh, so maybe B isn't the answer as to where you look to push out of the gate. Maybe it is. But um, I would love to just see one of these flanks try and come in with a bit more, a bit more of a sense of urgency behind it. Because so often, it is just happening a little too late in the round. However, you know, as you often find, given the aggression to Na'Vi is exactly what they were hoping for, right? So it is like, it's a very awkward spot to be in. I like it. I keep seeing repeat faces on the fan cams. I love that we have like people just showing up, not supporters of like any one team, but they do support a team out of the two. They're just fans of CS. Down here in mid, Blame, big fan of Counter-Strike. He's taken down Electronic right out of spawn. Up on top of the head of Config, they used that to get the kill early. Now this B site has fallen while this has happened, but it's another kill now. This time for Config, the man who was at the bottom of the boost, chiming in with one, and a five on three retake in towards B. They're fast oh, on the dear. approach, and it's USP's Na'Vi. They might be about to get ecoed. Down they go. It's flawless with one AK, or two AKs rather. And just USPs on everyone else, they get it locked in. And it's Config, a guy who didn't even have a rifle to steal the show with three. Oh, that's the that's the most unfortunate round for Na'Vi, right? And and why we've been seeing Cole heavy on these B-sided plays. I love the fast flanks as well, right? Just the crunch onto middle with Config's USP. Gets an AK, finds another through the smoke, even closes the five on one. No way of giving Na'Vi away back into that round. Boy, oh boy, that's a that's a spicy one. Flamey's looked really good in this game so far, right? Simple's had a slow start, but we're yet to really see any head-to-head -head orping. Now that might come through with Poison donning the sniper. He's been scouting his way into this game. But Flamey's been getting a lot of long picks, and so Na'Vi might want to go back to relying on that. He's going to flash electronic up Cat. It's the orp on the car here for Poison. Very standard setup. Cole leading towards long. It has been a bit of a problem for them in the past. Flame is hiding as he gets flashed out. Rush with one. Simple as the smoke pops, finds Poison on the corner. And that's a huge opening kill. Flame yet to be spotted, spamming the smoke, but it's favoring Na'Vi. And they get both kills. Electronic, they were not uh, aware of him coming up Cat. Even though Config gets a couple of bullets off, it's not going to be enough. It's down to the young gun of Oboe. There's the first. Perfecto up through the ramp. Bit of damage from Oboe, but not the killing blow they were hoping for. Dropping into CT. While all this is happening, Simple is wrapping short side. So Oboe's got a one on two temporarily over here at long. But the longer he waits, the more valuable this wrap is from Simple. Oboe might not even survive the journey back into CT. Spamming. Not quite able to get the kill locked in. And this should be a fifth for Na'Vi. Oboe. Falling away, looking to try and save it. Even then, Simple is here, ready and waiting to deny it. It's five on the board for the Na'Vi side. Obo there wearing a vest. You want to know why that is? Because in Europe, there's not a lot of AC, and it's pretty warm around here at the minute, Hugo. Yeah, These Americans, they're a little bit spoiled. They are in a hotel in London. Oh, well, there you go. There's AC. Never mind. Forget I said anything. He's just wearing a vest because it's comfortable. And you want Obo to be comfortable. This guy often finds he's so good in the clutches. 
Yeah, for sure. I, he's he's wondering the entire time, like, why not? Why am I not getting these fights? He's looking for them. He's on top of the catwalk, fighting sight, spamming car. Where's that third player? Why is the bomb not getting planted? And all in the meantime, like you said, they're they're waiting for simple. Flamey and Perfecto are just trying to dodge jewels and avoid fights, so this flank can come through. And simple even catches Obo leaving as well. Yeah, long is is clearly the problem. That always is in a game versus Navi. Uh, wonder, the wonder is how are Complexity going to deal with that? Are they going to start trying to give it up or just put Poison in a position to find a kill? He gets dropped by Simple in that round as the smoke blooms. Na'Vi are always going to have waves of utility, waves of flashes up on that position. Simple's back on the orb, saved by Perfecto to allow Simple to lurk. Perfecto is leading the charge. Once again, the flashes are fantastic. He's just going to burn to death. Rush somehow gets away with one. And there's Poison posted up late to the angle. He dodges the flashes and he takes down Fumich. I say that he was blind in Ow. doing so. Flamey on one. And Na'Vi are going to get the hell out of long. Finally, Cole find a solution. But is it a short-term one? It's one of those situations where Flamey tried to dodge the nade, actually puts him in a more direct line of the nade. And now he's very, very low as a result. Electronics over here at short. Config holding on. Surely not an angle you're going to be ready for if you're Electronic. He's still creeping on up. Oh Config. It, electronic, man. He barely even needs the keyboard. Like, he just <gasps> whoop, gets caught with the nade out. And that there is Config further solidifying this man advantage. Uh -oh. But B is empty. Complexity. They're so used to these A plays that they've just gone, right, guys, everyone head A. Let's lock it down. Let's win this round. But in doing so, they might have opened up a path for Na'Vi into this B site. Simple as throwing the AWP into Flamey's hands. And Obo should have this round locked in. It all depends on who he gets contact with first. If you find Flamey, that's one thing. But there we go. Simple swing it out, gets dropped. And the round's locked in for complexity. It's five on the board. I like that proactive play, right? It's a very risky one. And you know you could be giving Na'Vi the B bomb site. Uh, uh, Obo begins a rotation, but he clears out low. He clears out mid. Config gets aggressive on short to kill Electronic. And while he doesn't get traded or see anyone else, it's not like he swings into middle and goes, oh, there's definitely no one here. Like the cubby is checked. Cat is checked. So Cole don't actually know that that's fully a fake from Electronic. They can only assume. And Obo confirms that by clearing out, you know, tunnels and top T spawn. Back to Long, simple, the solution. Oh, he's only going to get one. Obo with a trade, again, blind. Feels like Cole haven't had a kill here without being blind, and that's not going to change. Poison yoinks it away across towards the bins. He's going to know, thanks to that Molotov, giving it away and peeking back in with another one to try and trap Flamey. Electronic, that's uh, going to get caught by Config on the car. Galil is not the gun. And now it's down to a three on two. Na'Vi, both players spotted. This is where Blame can get aggressive or try and push B tunnels if he wants. He does see Boomich coming from top mid. And so now Collar are aware they have to care about Cat. Config, oh, he's just gonna go for the fight. I like the confidence, but it's not gonna show up. And uh, now it's down to a two on two where Poison is pushing the perimeter. Yeah, and it's this push that could tear the round away. There's the first, but the trade comes in immediately from Flamey. And now Blame F left to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Flamey. I'm planted here. Flame on inside of the A site. And a flash high. Doesn't find anything. Blame. Plenty of utility here, but Flamey's looking to take a fight, and Blame is ready for that. Complexity, you're going to steal that sixth round. Everyone's so hungry, man. Everyone wants those jewels. Like, I don't blame Flamey. They're getting starved of them in the first minute or so, and yeah. that's why. It's it's so entertaining. Like, Cole pushing for every fight. Blame spots them at top mid. Config's like, yeah, don't worry, guys. I'll just kill them. Uh, he doesn't. Poison, even aggresses on Cat, right? That's a super risky play. They only Blame only saw one, so there wasn't the info that, oh yeah, both players are up Cat, they're going to trade you. And so maybe Poison thinks he can isolate a one-on-one -on -one rather than being trapped on like a long split, because I think that's probably what they expected at that point. But yeah, as long as you're you know getting the 1v1s and you're equal anyway, it's not the end of the world. You're setting your teammate up for the clutch and Blame, he is going to close it. So uh, Cole take a lead and Na'Vi, it's money that they need. Down to Deeks. So there's this double AWP out, and one of them's over here at short. That's the, ooh, that looked like it was gonna be a collateral. <laughs> Not the best nade you've ever seen, but just gets unfortunate dropping it as he falls. As I was saying, the other AWP was over at B, pushing with Oboe, who now has been let off the leash to head in through the lower tunnels. 
And he's going to spot Simple over on Catwalk. He gets out of there once they see him. But this is a lot of control for Complexity to have. Electronic dropping into CT. Poison, missed shot. You can't afford to miss those. And now Electronic has dealt with him. Darting back through this CT smoke. Ooh. Flamey on the Deagle, picking up another. And Electronic's going to follow up on Uobo. It's a two on two in the blink of an eye. The bomb, however, is dropped up on Catwalk. And that there is a bit of a problem for Na'Vi. Luckily enough, Flamey's gotten by. They do lose Electronic down here in CT. Flamey, 1v2. They hear him up on the Catwalk. He's not being discreet about this. Flash up and both these players looking to challenge. Rush immediately on the boxes and he's going to find Flamey. So seven for complexity. That whole round was like no one having the actual correct info. And that's thanks to Na'Vi like doubling back. Uh, Flamey tries to chase down Obo in lower. Obo retreats to B. Very safe decision after getting spotted in the tunnels. And then Na'Vi know the pressure's on. They know they're getting flanked. And the A luckily has high numbers as it should do. So they actually double back uh, it, through the CT smoke towards middle, catching uh, the B rotations you think it's A, and Flamey in that clutch, if he walks up Cat and gets that bomb, Cole didn't actually have the info. They didn't know where it was, so they thought it was B. They were both looking at middle and trying to walk on the rotate, but yeah, he runs up Cat, he makes all this noise, and so Cole is just ready for him. I actually think they probably would have uh, split up or at least both gone B if Flamey snuck that one. But yeah, some of these rounds have been very, uh, like I imagine the communication, we know what it's like for Na'Vi, can get pretty hectic at times. And some of these rounds have been very fast. That was a good eco, though. Na'Vi do a lot of damage, and they make it interesting. No plant, though. And so we can see the effect that that's had in terms of Galil's and a tech on Perfecto with no warp on Simple Poison. He's taken long. That's got to be a good feeling for a change. But Flamey's going to look to fight back. Poison, does he want to stay on this angle? Well, Flamey doesn't. He's going to jump away. Na'Vi up Catwalk right now, setting up smokes for this A take. And Poison's at least peeled back to try and stop it. Here it comes, Blame F. Attempting to move behind these boxes. Boomich gonna flash himself into CT. Blame gets the information, so Boomich is made quick work of. Oh dear, they know. Blame, they really know, and he's still good for two. Blame F holding the line, USP out. Can't quite get past Simple with it, but he's kept complexity in a very good spot indeed. Flamey left in the clutch again, this time a 1v3, and he's made quick work of by Oboe. So eight on the board for complexity as they continue to chain together rounds here on this CT side. RV, these attempts at the slow rounds, while they were working early on in the last few, we've certainly seen the scales tip in favor of complexity. Yeah, and the money not being there certainly doesn't help either. Navi would have loved that bomb plant in the previous round because even now they're back to pistols. It's all too familiar. And you, you know, you need those rifles, you need simple getting those opening picks on long. Uh, if you want to take that control, which, which is Navi's uh, bread and butter on this map. B play, are they just going to run through the smoke? Maybe. Look how many flash bangs are highlighted. They're all going out. So much utility. The mid split gets nothing done. Oboe's flash blinds out Boomage. Simple with the opening kill to the back of the site. They do have control of B, but with those doors flipped, Blame can fight back and try and stop the cross. Config is here too. He's going to hear the bomb go plant, but he needs default, and Electronic is further behind the box. Or Flamey, rather. Electronic's grabbed a gun, and Cole have loads of utility to retake this nice and slow. Oh, Flamey tries to jump the guard to get out through the window. Electronic now in with one, but more players have tiptoed their way in. Simple, oh, oh with the Deagle, delivers everything that was needed. Now down to the 1v1 and Poison, not aware that Simple had wrapped back outside. That looked like it should have been communicated. That looked like a bit of a, a miscommunication, perhaps from complexity as Poison is looking entirely the wrong way. Yeah, while everyone's flooding through the window there for Cole, Blame is holding the doors passive. No knowing that Na'Vi like to do this when they take B, pushing through, swapping sides, trading that control. And you can see after Simple gets the kills and the, the scales tip and it goes into a two on two. Blame's like, I need to trade, I need to get this kill. But Simple hits an incredible deeg flick and Na'Vi win the eco off the back of it. And of course, you know, someone called Car because that's where Simple was getting the shots from, like close door. But I imagine, oh dear. I imagine they didn't, uh, they didn't see him leave after that kill. 
My oh my, Poison on this eco is domed simple through the doors. There has been a trade and Electronic finding a kill with a nade. Oh my, the spam as well. Config is screwed and he will at least try and get some damage out of there but not getting out alive. This one's done. It's just Blame with a scout, no armor. And even though the bomb still dropped Suicide, which is a bit of a weird one, this AK should remove him and Boomish does. Xbox smoke down, but you'll notice Cole aren't rushing down the catwalk. They're coming in from lower. Simple, as he often is, boosted up on the catwalk for early mid fights. He's going to get at least some audio from these lower players. Over fighting mid, it's a double peak that works wonders. Cole finding that opening kill. Na'Vi, they could tuck B, but Electronic has cleared, out, has cleared out the tunnels, and so these B players move away into middle. At this point, it's, it's obvious. Na'Vi know what's going on, but they haven't got the numbers on that A site to patch it up, and neither on B, with Oboe finding them out on the flank. Flamey coming in as what? well, and Oboe's got a triple. Na'Vi are just giving Cole kills right now, trying to flank fast, and Simple and Perfecto are all that remain. Go on then, Simple. What can he offer? Damage, but nothing <laughs> found. Config dealing with him, leaves it on to Perfecto in a very unlikely round. A great round from Oboe, though, right? 10 points of health, manages to get three kills with that Glock. And so Perfecto's just save it, man. He wants nothing to do with this round. Oh, that's nice. Nice little sequence there to find Rush, but that should be the end of Perfecto's journey. Going to be nine on the board for complexity at the end of this one. And there's another. Perfecto padding these stats. Not going to be able to give this round a go no matter how much damage he does. Oh. Uh-oh. How many more are they going to give you, Perfecto? How many more fights are you going to get? <laughs> They're still chasing him down. He's only got this kit, but they really don't want to let him get away with it. There's so minimal benefit to Cole chasing the kill as opposed to Perfecto, you know, getting away uh, with with more and making more money. Look, he's bought the scout for simple now, so not bad at all. But yeah, complexity. I love that round. They they know they're trapped. They know that Navi have the info. With them being on cat, they show a lot of presence in middle. And so instead of rushing, like I think Navi expected with how some of the, you know, the mid rounds turn pretty fast in that first half. And ha as how pistols often are. Uh, Cole just wait. And Na'Vi, they feed them from the flank. Oh, yeah. simple. He ain't falling for that one. He knows was, you're watching lower config. I was thinking when config stood there doing that, I'm like, oh, I don't like it. Simple's got the scout. He's not the guy you want to trifle with. And well, luckily enough, simple does get his just desserts at later on. Shut down by Oboe. It's a tent for complexity. I admire the confidence on a man like Config to go blow for blow with Simple, but this is not a fight you want to be taking. I mean, he's oh, not, uh, yeah, he doesn't even want the fight. You know, he's holding that angle just to watch to see if anyone goes aggressive lower. He doesn't want to peak mid knowing like, Na'Vi are going to have a scout. Na'Vi always have a scout. And so why would I play aggressive there? But Simple reads it. He's played this map a thousand times and a thousand more. Poison with a P2. It's an eco for Na'Vi. He's saving for the AWP. Nothing like buying an AWP in this round and losing it, but I mean, he doesn't have the money anyway. Config saving his teammates in middle, finding simple, getting his revenge, even spotting Perfecto on the mid as well. Double cat setup here for Na'Vi. So the old bait and switcheroo, Boomich can fall off or just tuck and Electronic with the P2 trying to find kills, but Cole might just open B before that even happens. Flash is good, Electronic is spotted. That's actually hilarious. Considering Electronic is blind, his model's hand dabs, you know, he does the flashbang dance, covers his face, and it's that arm moving over his face that shows him in that corner. You should, you're not usually seen on such a passive angle until, until you know, that, that cat player swings, but yeah, the, the flashbang, it actually uh, forces the old dance and complexity. I mean, that was their round anyway, through and through. But just about confirming it, putting a bow on top. Because remember, Cole on the set, their CT side, they want a full eco like that, albeit it was with two rifles saved. But Config got a 3k after just using a USP. So here it is. The AWP is out, and Simple's got his as well. What do they got for us? It's a fast, long play. Perfecto. There's one, but that's all for him. Electronic, that's a good nade. Config catches it. That's not what you want to be catching at this time. 
They might try and get poisoned down here in the pit. Now, this is like a vintage dust too, right? You get your AWP, you set him up in pit, and then look at what this does to the sight lines. These cameras are perfect to illustrate it. It forces Na'Vi to have to give up long in its entirety and instead prioritize Cat. So this gives you like a free avenue over towards the A site. And eventually, Na'Vi might decide, well, we should maybe give long a little look, see if they're still there. If that happens, that's where Poison just gets delivered or handed a free kill from a player trying to play for information. So this is why teams do this so often. This is why you'll see the AWPA get put here. This is a, a, a map on like no, uh, sorry, like no other in how much control you can take with just this one AWP in this location. So long side lockdown for complexity, and now this enables the walk up. It's, it's bread and butter, right? You just walk up long, you smoke the cross, you get into the site, and that's where Na'Vi, the reason they take catwalk, is it still gives them an element of control here at the A bomb site, but utility can nullify that very, very easily. Only one smoke though, so they're gonna have to use that Molotov. It doesn't work, the spam is good for Boom. It's dropping the bomb as well. There's a little, little gap there, but they're gonna cross to the site. No further, however, Simple is already Gandalf and he is pulling out some tricks of his own. Blame jumping through the smoke, finding Boom. It's nice stuff. Poison catches Simple on top of the car, wider than he assumed. And it's gonna be the bomb getting planted with only eight seconds to spare. Retake on with no kit. Flamey's tiptoeing up through CT. Poison's seen him, but trapped at the oh. car. He's going to nail this shot, and he had to. That was a death sentence for Poison. If that shot misses, he goes down. He gets spammed to death. So a huge one, a huge 2v4 from, uh, from Poison and Blame. That's not the first call I've had. They've had plenty in this game already. Yeah, using the old Na'Vi long, uh, long take against them, right? Just sitting there, just bleeding the time. Uh, Blame goes back to T-Spawn to check for the B push. We see, see that a lot for Cole. Na'Vi, they only have one player B. They're not falling for it, right? They know what's going on. But unfortunately, you know, that's not going to stop Cole and, uh, and their aggressive AWP. Simple is getting neutralized in this game right now. He's, he's holding his own. He's playing fine. But, you know, this is a man that we don't expect to play fine. We expect to play well. 12 and 13. Already had the chance to shine in this map so far. Oh, they're going back to long. A late take. It's a corner smoke for blame. We've got Boomich in the pit with a CZ. No support from anyone on the site as well. So good luck, Boomich. Flashes are going to come through for Cole, and this should be their position for free. Oh, Boomich, they know you got six bullets. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit of a rough spot to be in. Config just deletes him. Now, while this is happening, look at a man named Flamey. Simple's even taken lower tunnels and they were aggressing into middle. Complexity, they just pumped the brakes. And they're trying to show Na'Vi now, like, we can give as good as we can take, right? These slow rounds, they might have been what you were running in that first half of play, but we can dish them out as well. I do think that Dust2, any team that plays Dust2 well, they're very, very familiar with just having to slow this right down. That is kind of how Dust2 plays, right? It's essentially just three lanes, and so you're kind of vying for control of them. And you will get rewarded, especially in a situation like this, when you're in a five on four and the CTs are feeling that pressure. Oh, recuperate nice. lost men and recuperate them they do. Blame F now, trying to pick up the pieces and blame Ooh. with the mow down. It's three, four in the hat trick in the round. No play in the blame game today is complexity salvage a 13. Yeah, you know, it's the mind games. Na'Vi know what's going on. They, last time that happened back on long, they still had Flamey at B. This time they just put all four players on the site and they flash in for the peaks. I like the first flash. They go in, they trade for three for one. They set up really well, but it's the second pop right back in. Uh, that, that's when, you know, uh, Cole are expecting it. They weren't ready for it the first time around. The second, they just stopped in their tracks and they're holding on blame. He almost runs out of mouse map by the looks of things. Things, but he does find the kills. 13 to 7. Only an eco for Na'Vi. And again, they make it interesting. But interesting is not what we need. We need results. We need wins for Nata Spencer, especially on their map pick. Yet to find a round in the second half. It's five in a row for Cole. This is it. The time, the, now or never, basically. Simple's got the AWP. He got one in the last time he had it from Gandalf. Got cancelled out by Poison's shot. And so we need another simple-esque play here coming through. He's going to get boosted up, I think, on the site. Yeah, he's watching Cat from a range. But Cole, they haven't even gone to be, and now they're going to hit it hard. 
Yeah, Flamey and Perfecto, they've really got to stand the test of time. Flash is raining in. Perfecto boxed in and dealt with now. Flamey back of the site while he is good for one. Ooh. The follow-up is in for Rush. Blame is even holding for these mid-rotations. Down goes the burst. Miss shot from oh Simple and another from Blame F. Now just Simple left on the other side, but he's quite the man to tango with. Russian Poison. They're holding down B. Now, normally you'd be looking at a save here and that might be a decision that Simple has to make. That is a horrific call to give over 14, to only have this AWP to fight with in the follow-up round. That is going to be the only weapon that Na'Vi are clinging on to. I just call my great calls all through this game. Even though Na'Vi haven't like been uh, baited into going 4A or anything there, they still had that heavy B site set up with Perfecto on the car with uh, another man at the back of the site. It's, it's just not an issue. Blame locks down the rotations by sitting in the mid to B smoke. Cole go very early as well, not telegraphing anything, not trying to fake out by throwing the cat smoke, which Na'Vi might, you know, might even read into. They just hit B hard and they hit it fast and Na'Vi have no way to stop them. Poison even misses his shot to the player at the back of the site. I think it was Flamey and Rush just saves him there. Rush has a huge round with a double entry into B. One of the things that I, and I imagine you feel the same way here about this complexity squad is obviously with Config being in it, I think the timing on getting Config into this team was great because you hit like that point in his career where he realized that he is really good, but he also needs to, you know, like work on himself as an individual and try and be a bit more, you know, pliable. Um, but, but, but as well as that, I think, you know, even if you ever had like some of those semblances of the old config ever shining through, he's finally with an IGL who just commandeers respect in the server. Like he is so damn good. He knows the game like the back of his hand. He's always uh, up towards the top of the board. He's a fellow countryman of config and he's jacked. So, you know, like you're not going to be, you're not going to be ever questioning a decision that Blame F's made. It's like, it's like having Semphis as your IGL, right? There's only so much you could say. Um, but I love it, man. I love this composition on the side of complexity. I really do think you just have a series of players that complement each other so damn well. And then this fantastic figurehead and Blame F at the top. Top. Simple over here with the AWP over at short Ooh. side. He's mollied out of the round already. Complexity, they've got Catwalk. They fought for it. Simple is still here floating around playing that AWP drop down position. But you look at how Complexity have structured this round. They've got Oboe holding onto tunnels. They've got Rush over towards Long. They can go anywhere based on the results of these opening fights. So they've left their options so open at this point in time that they are in full control of this round. And we're going to be relying on a big performance from someone like Electronic if they do keep coming his way to turn the tide for Na'Vi. Oh, Electronic, he sees two. He's going to peel off. Simple, he, he has to make a difference here, but Poison's already waiting for it. Despite the double cross for Cole, Poison was waiting in the doors and Simple is culled. It's going to be a five on three, two in middle. Nice shot from Perfecto. He doubles up. This man can wield any weapon to great success. And now he's got an AK at his feet, throws it over to his teammate. Electronic grabs on as well. Perfecto downgrades. Poor guy. It's going to be Na'Vi trying to retake the A site, but it will be on a delay. That molly comes at a perfect point for Cole. It's going to allow them to pick post plants as well. Rush going back to long. Triple cat retake. One flash and a molly to go through. Here come Na'Vi. This flash on Poison could make such a difference for Config as he sits over on Goose. The flash is out. It's a good flash bang and down goes Electronic. Perfecto turning away. He's on to his third in this round. Ooh, uh, Flamey trying to bait the shot. Perfecto now needs the ace to pick up a 15th for complex, uh, for Na'Vi rather, deny the 15th. That's what I meant to say. But don't worry, I've fumbled my words and it doesn't matter because Perfecto isn't attempting the 1v2 ace clutch that he would have to offer us. This is just a great cool T side for Cole, right? They just had the right answer at every time with only one B hit needed, right? They've gone back to these long takes. Simple's been cut down every time he's tried to make a difference, play aggressive up on the count. Walk, he's been molly back that round you, you know boomish gets spotted along simple tries to make a difference by peeking back in poison's already posted just call have had the answer for everything navi have thrown at them and 15 to 7 this was an 8 7 half navi have not done anything in the ct side this might just be a clean cut flawless victory for cole 
We've got a double off for Na'Vi. We know what Flamey can do. He's had a great game so far, despite the scoreline. Uh, maybe the second orb could be a solution as well. Electronic up on Catwalk, peers into middle, sees nothing. Does that force a B rotation? Flamey's gone back to it. We got the triple boost to look at the back of the plat, but Perfecto is playing close. Uh-oh, here comes Flamey. If he jumps up, that could be an issue. The nade in, poison, Ooh, falls off. And Cole, they won't commit, not yet. That bomb is still back in T-spawn. Rush holding on to long. It looks like they just want to burst their way in, though. And this is where Flamey can come alive. If Poison gets that kill there. Cole just rush in. But now they've actually smoked their own exit off. And they're going to go back elsewhere. Look at them go. The round's restarted. <laughs> they're leaving T-spawn, and now they're trying to run the gauntlet in towards this a site. but Na'Vi still with quite the force to be reckoned with. Simple over here at long. Has Boomich with him. Boomich moving in behind the blue bin, and he oh, gets no. the information. They know he's there, but Simple is here to help out, and suddenly you realize you've left this B site, but now you've walked into the lion's den. Flash goes over, Simple is off the angle. Boomich somehow good for one before he's dealt with and Simple still putting up these numbers, holding on too long and he's just not budging. Simple on three and only blame F left to B. It's not gonna be easy, but Simple finally delivering what we were hoping for. Ooh. Lots of damage, oh, the molly's gonna burn him out. A 1v3, but so little time. Not enough time for Blame F to get anything done here. He's just looking to hold on to the AWP. So it's eight for Na'Vi. Simple gets them there. But they still need seven in a row. They mollied out Boomage, right? But it lands on top of the blue box. And we know how much mollies climb up and down walls, but there it doesn't. Boomage lives forever in a position that's on fire. He's just sitting in it, barely taking any damage. Finally has to swing out and make a move. The difference there for Simple as well is he's not like constantly re-peeking for the kills. He's waiting on Boomich as well. If anything, sort of like baiting him, but that's what Na'Vi need to do in order to win the round. Simple's not rushing the gunfights in anticipation of Poison's post. Config on the AWP, but he's going to get caught out by Simple. Nice stuff. The double AWP for Cole in this round does not work, or at least the secondary. It's Poison's try back to Catwalk instead. Na'Vi... Someone's... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, Electronic gets absolutely wiped out. Flamey now flashed out a CT. The smoke's going in, and he doesn't even get the information that they're not committing to this one. They smoke off the CT position. Na'Vi rotate heavily into CT, but Flamey has gone through that smoke on the back of the flashes. He now knows that this has to be a B play with everyone coming from tunnels to Perfecto. First man's gotten in, but he holds down this B site valiantly. He puts up two and he leaves Na'Vi with a man advantage. And Flamey, by the way, remember him? He was coming in on this flank earlier on. Well, he's still here. He's still a danger. And Complexity have got no idea. He could tear this whole round away right now. And he will. Na'Vi, a nice to their name as this comeback starting to get some legs on it but it's still a long way to go yeah and it's up against 15 which is always the worst to try and pull that back and all the time that flame is coming in on the flank the reason no one's even considering it is because you know cole have bigger problems or at least they think they do right in front of them is simple jumping through the window that shot uh, is unbelievable for poison dear oh dear but yeah, Na'Vi, better late than never, hey? Getting some rounds on the board. This double AWP is still here. Rush, he has loads of cash. Yeah, get some more Deegs in play. Drop one over. Everyone needs to be armed here. Obo isn't, but Flame's got that hero AK. Rush at least donning the utility. He has the flashbang that could get these players up cat, but he's going to have to throw it from deep long. Plenty of ways to do that. And it, here it comes. Config leading the charge. There's no one here. Na'Vi have put that up back on the long corner. Leaning heavily into the middle and B area. Cole, Cat might be theirs, but Na'Vi know it. They've got the info spotting down mid thanks to Perfecto, and he's continuing to put on the pressure towards the doors. Cole, this should be a round where you definitely get a plant. It's just how much more. And, well, I say definitely. Simple. He's going to look to put a stop to that. Molly down, smoking the spawn. Simple going to jump up on the car with that utility. And, oh, no, he just gets spammed. They see him. They're ready for that play. Electronic needs to do the heavy lifting here in CT. 
Blame F perched up on the side there like Batman, trying to be the hero they need. Max away for now. Has this hero AK. Boomish out from long. He needs that kill. Config's oh, no. going to find it. Surely the eco isn't how complexity get this game over the line. Config dealt with. And now just rush and oboe left. Only rush now in the 1v3. They're in the site, but no one's on the bomb yet. Rush trying to hold on. Oh, he's got them all. Oh, rush, what a way to take.